Welcome to Couch Cocktails. I'm Jenny. Today we're talking about technique because recipe is only one part of a good cocktail. Technique is going to make or break your drink. This is a jigger. This is what you're going to use to measure all your ingredients. If there were one tool you had to buy, it would be this. Making a drink is kind of like baking. If you're not measuring properly, your recipe is not going to turn out quite right. Make sure you're holding your jigger right next to your shaker tin or mixing glass. That way when you pour, you won't spill. Now a full ounce is going to be right to the top on the small side. The rest is marked on the inside. And then the big side, two ounces is full to the top and an ounce and a half is on the inside. Sometimes we shake and sometimes we stir. It depends on the recipe. Now for shaking, I recommend a Boston shaker with the two metal tins. This is going to be the most reliable. You can also use a mason jar. Just make sure you put the lid on before you shake it. When building your drink, you want to combine all of your ingredients into your small tin and then add ice into your large tin. You want to shake it long enough and hard enough so that you break up the ice in order to take out that boozy sting and to make sure the cocktail goes down nice and smooth. To seal it, pop it in at an angle and then tap it with the heel of your palm. Now to shake, you wanna make sure you're shaking horizontally, not vertically, and you wanna flick it back and forth so the ice is being rocketed back um, on each end of the tin. Shake hard for 10 to 15 seconds, and you want to make sure your top hand has a good grip on both tins so you keep the seal intact. To break the seal, you see we have the narrowest opening here and the widest opening here. You want to hit it right in between by clapping it with the heel of your palm. When your recipe calls for stirring rather than shaking, you'll want to use a mixing glass you can also use a mason jar or your large tin. Fill it three quarters with ice. And since stirring is a more gentle process, we're gonna stir for about 30 to 45 seconds. You can use a fancy bar spoon if you want. At some point, I will do a video on how to perfect your stirring technique. But for now, you can just use a regular spoon and just stir it like you would stir sugar into your tea. This is a Hawthorne strainer. It'll fit nice and snug on top of your shaker tin or your mixing glass. You'll want to strain out the ice you used for shaking or stirring so that your cocktail dilutes less quickly while you're actually enjoying it. You can use a fine mess strainer if you want, but there will be more of a mess. Now that we've covered the basics on how to make a good cocktail, hop on the couch and let's whip one up.